That's it. Uh, well, look, we can't <laughs> wait to hear all about it. Uh, we have Sand of the Sirens, Plasma Tour in with us tonight on our Roundtable review panel. If you haven't heard the Roundtable before, five tracks recently uploaded to BBC Introducing in Devon. Uh, we will be casting our ear over them and our three expert panellists will be giving their feedback on the five tracks. So let's do it. Track number one. <laughs> Is this a brand new band for Rob Murphy, a.k.a. the Rob Murphy Trio now? Track number one of five. Track number one of five on the BBC Introducing in Devon August Roundtable. Before we get our opinions and thoughts of our three expert panellists on the show tonight, let me tell you a little bit about the Rob Murphy trio and that track that you've just heard, which is called Morning Doubt. Uh, so we know Rob Murphy actually already here on BBC Introducing in Devon, but now they are the Rob Murphy trio. So Rob Murphy on guitar and vocals, James Sharp on bass and Ryan Bird on drums, uh, an original three-piece band uh, formed to bring more expression and life to the original music originally performed as a solo act I've said originally about 50 times in that <laughs> sentence uh, he's had some local radio play before with us and, and stuff like that but Rob Murphy formerly a solo artist basically is now a three piece in the Rob Murphy trio as I said that track is called Morning Doubt on BBC Introducing in Devon okay uh, let's do it let's go straight into it let's get our uh, p- opinions from our expert panellists who I didn't really properly introduce um Abby Martin, one half of Sound of the Sirens and drama teacher as well. So we're going to get that kind of artsy vibe, I think, from Abby tonight. <laughs> uh, Hannah Wood, the other half of Sound of the Sirens as well. And most importantly, vocal coach with Vocal Arts, who I've been to many of their gigs and showcases and, and just 
everybody uh, who works with Hannah just thinks she is the most amazing person ever. So certainly in terms of the vocal lines, we're going to get some great opinions, no doubt, from Hannah. And Alex Roberts, uh, a.k.a. Plasmator, electronic music producer from Plymouth, who's come in at the last minute to save the day and he's only had about four hours to listen to all this music. So <laughs> we won't pick on Alex too much tonight, regardless of what he says. OK, so let's start with you then, Albie, if you don't mind, please, um, and kick off your opinions on the, uh, the Rob Murphy trio and Morning Doubt. Um, well... I, I love this song. I think this song's really good. Um, straight away when it opens up, it makes me think of, it's got a very sort of oasis-y feel. Um, it'd be interesting to know what they're inspired by, all the bands they listen to growing up. I can tell you that. Likes of Nirvana, R.E.M., Oasis, The Verve, and many, many more. Oh, I think I think Stereophonics is going to be in there as well. Okay, It's yeah. very Stereophonics too. Um, and the vocals have a sort of early 2000, that sort of time, sort of um, that, period of it vocals Brit poppy, yeah Brit poppy yeah. kind of sound that's the, the, what I'm looking for um, I would like the vocals to be a bit louder in the mix personally um, I'm somebody who really listens to the vocals I love the words in music um, I think he's got a brilliant voice um, but it would be cool to see if he can um, a bit more desperation as well like I love I love his voice but if it can climb any more like almost on the edge of what he's capable of doing just to lift it even more um, but I do I love the sound it's got some really lovely catchy guitar riffs in there too and I've been looking up their Facebook page this afternoon and saw that Lou Latham is a good friend of yours a good yeah. friend of ours and theirs okay. so hi Rob Murphy trio okay and they look quite fun that, that has nothing to do with the song but they look, <laughs> good, they look like fun people hang out hang out hi guys if they come across that way on Facebook that's a good thing <laughs> yeah it's a good thing likeable. definitely okay uh, Alex over to you <laughs> yeah I completely agree in that the vocals I think could be a little louder in the mix um, I think well, we we were talking. We we we've got very different ways of listening to music, I think, and I don't tend to listen to vocals, at least at first, or lyrics. Really, I kind of listen to the melodies and the actual production at first, and yeah, the vocal certainly I think needs to be a little louder. But yeah, definitely, kind of really got that foot tapping kind of as soon as soon as it comes in, and and mm. I think as well that it was it was really catchy of the of the tracks after listening to them a few times. It was the one that I think in terms of the melody and the hook stood out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I hadn't really thought of the kind of Britpop connection. I think definitely yeah, listening to their influences, that comes across strongly. But um, yeah, just, just, just that little bit more with the vocals is what it needs at okay. the moment. Okay, uh, Hannah, then Rob Murphy as a solo performer, I would imagine he goes to, uh, used to go to gigs perhaps armed with just an acoustic uh, guitar and with yeah. you, uh, to as Sound of the Sirens, predominantly acoustic musicians. Rob's now got uh, drums and bass and he's plugged in and he's gone electric. Is he selling out? Is, is he gone Bob Dylan on you? Are you ashamed of him as, a, as an acoustic performer yourself? Nah, I'm jealous. <laughs> no one wants okay, to Slightly that. greedy, Rob, <laughs> but, you know. No, um, I... No, it's cool. It made me sit here and definitely move. Like, I couldn't stop moving. And I would love to watch them live because I would definitely sit yeah. along, do a bit of a headbang. Well, not a full headbang. No, but, that would be uncalled uh, for. That would be too much. Head, big head sway. But I really liked his voice. I think it's okay. got really, loads of... It's just really... What's the word? He's got husky. Quite, yeah husky and quite an emotional relaxed, voice. Yeah, yeah, relaxed and soulful, mm -hmm. I've got here. Um, really, lo really lovely tone. Um, and, yeah, I, I would agree with... I'd quite like the vocals up a little bit more. But then again, it, that's the style of the music, so it's quite nice that it's not as well. Um... I need to just put my code in the phone to get my notes back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think um, definitely with that, like, um, you know, four seven can, three two was that. <laughs> <laughs> it can it can be so kind of subjective. You know, he he they might have wanted the vocals to yeah, sound that little exactly, bit further that away. Feel, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's it becomes more of an instrument rather than a, mm, the, the yeah. main thing you listen to. Um, but the words that I I did listen to, I think it said, "Don't waste your time. We're always changing." I really like that. Yeah. That's great. Mm. Okay. We are. We? Okay. <laughs> uh, positive start. That's good for the Rob Murphy Trio and Morning Doubt, track number one of five on the August roundtable here on BBC, introducing in Devon, Abby Martin, Hannah Wood of Sound of the Sirens are here with us tonight, and Alex Roberts, aka Plasmator, uh, fantastic um, former, of course, DJ producer of the month here on BBC, introducing in Devon, great DJ and producer in with us tonight too. Um, right. Let's let's just move straight on. Let's talk about the the big news of the week, 